How do you know when your novel is finished? In this video, we'll explore some techniques you can use to make sure your novel is as close to perfection as possible before you send it out into the world. This includes ways to get distance, to view it with fresh eyes, and also the benefits of getting external feedback. Hi, I'm Kat, creator of The Novel Factory. The Novel Factory is software designed to support writers all the way from initial story idea to completed manuscript. If you like these videos, please hit the subscribe button. Each of these videos is accompanied by a text article that contains further information and examples and can be found on our website. Now, let's get started. First, we'll look at ways to get some distance. In order to effectively edit and assess your manuscript, you need to be able to see it with fresh eyes. This is difficult after being immersed so deeply in it for the writing process, but there are a few techniques which can help. One of the most effective things you can do is take some time away from the manuscript. Ideally, take at least two weeks without looking at it or thinking about it at all. Once the time has passed, go back for a final read through. Next, try printing it out. This is another way of getting distance and emulating having fresh eyes. The words simply look different on a different medium and you'll be surprised at how many things you will spot that you skimmed over on the screen a hundred times. Changing the font is another way to make it feel another level removed. Read it out loud. Reading out the text is a great way to identify weaknesses in rhythm and clunky words and sentences. If you don't want to do it for the entire novel, at least do it for the first few chapters. And finally, you can use an editing program. There are several online editing tools you can use which will identify common issues with your writing and advise you on how to improve. They can highlight extra long sentences, sticky words, ambiguous grammar and much more. Next, let's look at getting feedback. Because the only thing better than faking having fresh eyes is actually having fresh eyes. Other readers will be able to tell you how your words are coming across in a way that is completely impossible for you, as the writer, to do. If the idea of sharing your work with others fills you with dread, you're not alone. But try hard to overcome that, because not getting outside input is doing yourself a great disservice. Better to find and fix problems before it's too late. Arguably, the best option for critique is face-to-face -face groups. If you're able to access one of these groups, you'll be able to explore in much more nuance how your work is coming across, where it's working and where it's not. You should be able to find local writing critique groups in your area by searching online. If you don't have access to face-to-face -face critique groups, then you can always use an online one. There are many online communities where you can find like-minded writers and give and receive feedback on each other's work. Take care to find one which focuses on good quality critique and a positive culture. Another option is paid editorial services. Writing industry events sometimes offer one-to-one -one sessions with agents and editors where they will read your work or listen to your pitch and let you know how it came across, what they liked and what they didn't. You can also hire a professional editor or literary consultancy to give you feedback on all or part of your work. Both of the above options are extremely valuable but can be very costly, so are not a viable option for everyone. If you're new to critique, it's important to know that not all critique is equal. Good critique will point out your areas for improvement without belittling you for them, no matter where you are in your writing journey. If someone is giving overly negative critique and in any way putting you down, then that person is not fit to give critique and you should keep your distance. Good critique should make you enthused about making improvements, not feel bad about not being perfect. Having said that, critique does need to do more than just tell you how wonderful you are. That might be nice if you like that sort of thing, but it's not going to help you become a better writer. For this reason, non-writer friends and your mum are not recommended for critique and make sure you find a critique group 
that focuses on skills improvement, not back patting. Getting feedback from only one person can be very problematic because writing and reading is so subjective. Try to avoid making changes to your work based on the feedback of a single person. Wait until you have heard from at least three, but ideally five or more. Once you've received feedback from a range of different people, you will have a better idea about which are genuine issues that will be experienced by the majority of readers and which are simply an individual person's niggle. Eventually, once you've run through the above steps several times, You'll come to a point when you realise you're just adding and removing the same comma on each run through. When that's the case, it's time to call it done and move on to the next stage. Releasing your baby into the world. Don't forget to check out the text article that accompanies this video. It can be found at our website. And of course, don't forget to check out the Novel Factory. You can try it completely free for 30 days. The final step in the novel writing roadmap is step 15, getting published.